joining us for Friday's Living Word. Let's look at Psalm 23, 3 to 4. Psalm 23, 3 to 4. Now, as you know, Psalm 23 comes after Psalm 22. Psalm 22 is um, the prophetic word prophesying Jesus coming and what would happen to him. So Psalm 23 is after what happened to Jesus, and this is our covenant promise. So when you read Psalm 23, think of it as after the completed work of Jesus, and this is what's been promised to us. But in verse 3, it says, He restores my soul. Now we've been talking this week about peace, and Jesus said his peace he would give to us. And that word to commit to his word. You see, he restores my soul, and we kind of think, Oh God, restore my mind, restore my soul. But in Romans 12, too, it says to renew your mind according to the word of God. Your soul, mind, will, and emotions will not be restored until you put the word of God first place. You see, your emotions go in direct line with what you're thinking. And if you're thinking about what's going on around you or what could happen to you, then your emotions will go in that direction. And wherever your emotions go, your actions take you. So he restores my soul. And remember, he restores your soul with the word. He leads me in paths of righteousness. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. And Holy Spirit has been sent here to lead, guide, and direct you. He will always speak in line with the Word of God and direct you in line with the Word of God. He will reveal to you the deep secrets of God, things that have been hidden for you from before the foundation of the world. For his name's sake, verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. No fear here. It's the shadow of the valley of death. Well, one, there might be death around us and we think we're going to die. That's one thing. But for the believer, it's merely a shadow of death. We sometimes get so afraid of dying physically. But you know, your physical death is just a shadow you will never ever die your spirit will live forever and it's merely a transition from this life to the next so don't get in a place where you fear death rejoice always cast your care on the lord think about jesus and what he did for you and it's merely a shadow satan's trying to distract you keep your eyes on jesus be committed to the word and renew your mind today Thank you.